Hello everyone, let's talk about Google Meet and the updates and changes that have happened uh, in the last uh, week or so. Uh, specifically around the area of using a nickname to start or join a Meet. Uh, you can use it to schedule one too. You can say, hey, this is the code, the Meet nickname we're going to use in three days or next week. Uh, so when that time rolls around, please in, just type this in and we'll get started on our Meet. Uh, so we'll look at that. We'll also look at uh, what a student can see and do in Google Meet when you use a nickname and what you, what controls you, the educator, has. We'll also learn more about Google Classroom and starting a Meet from there and making sure that's on and visible for you and your students. All right, let's jump right into it. So I said starting a Google Meet with a nickname. Now, of course, it could be the nickname that your mom and dad gave you or somebody gave you when you were a child, but let's make this one more specific about uh, maybe the class or hosting or the period or the subject matter, uh, but not too general like Math Meet because if two people in Tustin Unified have Math Meet and they're trying to host a meet at the same time, kids may up in the wrong place. They may end up in one Math Meet and not in the other Math Meet that they should be in. So make it specific about uh, the meet that you're in. So it's Kerr, Alge 1, period 2, that should make it specific enough uh, for just those students to find it. Okay, so again, specific nickname, make it good to you and your students, and that way it'll be uh, a little bit more secure and less people will be able to find it. Okay, uh, so let's start a test meet here, and we'll call this one Cur test meet. And you'll get to see me a little bit. And we'll join now. Okay. That's good. And let's get another person in here. A student. And all right, you will see two of me. I'm sorry about that. Let's look at the controls. All right, this student, I can mute him. I can also remove him. All right. I'm going to have him join the meet one more time. I'm still in there. That's why he can rejoin the meet. Okay, back in. Okay, students, thanks for being on the meet today. It's a good wrap up to the topic. Uh, let's do this again next week. Same time, same place. And the meet. Have the student leave. Now, typically what you'd want to do is have the student leave first. You'd be the last person in the meet. And there's about a five minute window where the student actually could rejoin. Um, so, you may want to monitor that. You may want to jump back in to see if somebody's in the meet. It's up to you. Uh, but as long as you've closed the meet and about five minutes elapses, nobody will be allowed back into that meet. So I'm going to pause it and I'll wait for five minutes and I'm going to come back on and I'll show you that uh, students will not be able to get back into that meet. All right, so decent time has passed and uh, we want to see if a student can rejoin the meet. Notice that I am not in the meet right now. Um, so I have not reopened the meet um, at all since the time I left. So let's go back to see if the student can join the meet again. Okay. Oh, you are not allowed to start a meeting. Okay. So student cannot rejoin. Uh, it's not like using the old codes, um, you know, the ones with hyphens and dashes, where they could actually get back in the meet because it was a code that was just existing forever. So 
Again, it's just another advantage of, to use a nickname for a meet instead. Okay. All right. What does this look like in terms of a Google Classroom? Okay, here I have a Google Classroom, and we have plenty of students in it. They're taking a G Suite Level 1 course right now, and uh, we want to make sure that we can use Google Meet through this. So I'm going to go over to the gear icon, this, the settings, and check on the Google Meet settings. Okay, it's already been enabled here in this Google Classroom. Here's the actual code that is given. So it's a nickname, right? It's a, gener it's a random generated nickname because there's no dashes here. So um, therefore, it will have the same properties as a regular nickname meet. Okay? You can copy this so you can paste it in other places. Or you can actually reset it and get a new meet nickname there. Uh, right now, we have it turned on so that students can see this in my class. Uh, so you're welcome to do that in your own. You can turn that on so that others can see it. Um, or you can turn it off so it's not visible. But remember, no one will be able to join the Meet until you start the Meet. And, uh, you know, they won't be allowed in the Meet at least five minutes after and beyond that. They won't be able to get back in either. So uh, that's this Google Meet uh, from Google Classroom. All right. Thanks for the uh, few minutes with me to allow you for an update, and I hope that everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy. All right, take care.